Have you ever tried to wiggle your ears without using your hands? Most people can't, and there's a cool reason why. Many animals like cats, dogs, and deer can move their ears to detect where sounds are coming from. It's a survival tool, but humans? Not so much. Over time, we stopped needing to move our ears since we relied more on sight and speech than sound direction. But here's the twist. We still have the muscles that once moved our ears, the auricular muscles. These include the anterior, superior, and posterior muscles around the ear. The problem? They've become too weak to function because we don't use them anymore. Even more interesting, the part of the brain that controls those muscles has also faded in activity. So even though the muscles are technically there, the brain no longer sends strong signals to activate them. Still, around 10 to 20% of people can wiggle their ears, and it comes down to two main reasons. Genetics. Some people are born with stronger ear muscles or a brain that still knows how to control them. Training. Others have taught themselves through focused practice. With time and repetition, the brain can reconnect with these sleeping muscles, just like learning to raise one eyebrow or move your scalp. While being able to wiggle your ears doesn't have much use today, it's a cool leftover from evolution. It shows that our bodies still carry traces of what we once needed, even if we no longer use them. So if you can't wiggle your ears, don't worry, evolution just moved on.